Well, hey, uh, my name is Nikita Makayev. I, as of May, I'm a lead software engineer. Before I was a senior software engineer on the syndications engineering team. Uh, I've been at Fidonomics, it'll be two years in August, so almost two years right now. And I'm based near Los Angeles, California. So as a senior member of the syndications team, I help uh, guide, mentor more junior uh, team members. I help uh, I work with the product team to kind of finalize and build out project requirements. I help uh, build out, improve our infrastructure. I also write code for the different projects we work on. Um, and like I mentioned, my team is a syndications team and we kind of help actually get the product feed data from the economics platform out to all the different marketplaces, such as Amazon, Walmart, et cetera. My favorite place that I lived was London. I lived there for about a year and a half and I just kind of, I love the hustle and bustle of the big city. I love all the history. Uh, weirdly enough, I was really into, I love the public transport, so taking buses or subway, it was like really fun and just informative. And I kind of like the gloomy, rainy weather. I don't know, it really, it sets the mood for me for some reason. <laughs> I think the main thing I'm going to be remembered by and what I strive for when interacting with my coworkers is um, helpful and empowering. So I always try to make time to answer questions or connect with um, my team members, either through the process of code review or just quick calls or through chat. Uh, I want them to remember me as someone who was always there uh, to help them when they needed. Uh, well, as a little bit of background, I'm married and we have two kids. So our life, two very young kids, three years old and one year old almost. So it's kind of, life is kind of crazy right now, but I think for fun, we mostly enjoy traveling. It was our passion before having kids, that's how we met. So we always, even if it's locally in Los Angeles area, or when we take time off, we always uh, make a point to go travel or see something new, kind of stay moving. So we're not just cooped up in the house the whole time. I think it's Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 3, which came out I don't know, like a decade and a half ago. Probably has been a really long time, but I literally played that game into the ground until like the server stopped working. So even right before my kids were born, so maybe like four years ago when I was still playing and loving that game, but then it kind of died. And I had kids, so I don't have any time now. You know, I just, I really like uh, raspberry ice cream. And recently I tried, it was like white chocolate with raspberry swirl. And man, it was, it was to die for. It was so good. <laughs> there's a really awesome song from Doom 3 soundtrack. It's called Rip and Tear. And there's not really any lyrics. It's just like a really cool, like kind of heavy metal tune that it just gets like the energy going. It's, it's really great. Surprisingly enough, I love onions on my pizza because when they bake the onions, they get like soft and really sweet and flavorful. And I, I kid you not, I can just have like a whole, just an onion pizza. And my wife thought I was so weird for it until I got it to try it. And now she loves it too. <laughs> Both Crime and Punishment and Idiot by uh, Dostoevsky. And I'm originally Russian and I read it in Russian. So it's what kind of, I've been wanting my whole life to read some Dostoevsky and I finally got a chance to do it. And it was, it was awesome. Like those books were really, honestly, almost like a mind trip, like some, Movies kind of make you, I don't know, question reality in a way, like stuff is happening. That's how the books were for me. They were like little page turners and so much depth to them. And they're really ap applicable to your everyday life, like struggle about like thinking about consciousness or right and wrong choices in life. It was, they were both really great. So I recommend it to everybody as long as you can keep all the names straight. Even for me, it was hard to keep the names straight. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.